Hey, welcome everybody. This is our walkthrough for the Chuck Berry influence poster. Um, if you're watching this, it's probably Thursday uh, and you might be having trouble with it because I, I just want to make sure you understand what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for art, so I'm not going to give you an example because I want to see what you create, but I am going to walk you through how to do this. So the first thing you should have done is watch today's video. So it's actually probably Wednesday when you're seeing this. I record these early, so so whenever this is posted, you're probably watching this. Uh, so watch today's video to get an idea of the four elements that Chuck Berry brought to rock and roll. So then you're going to take a look at the detailed instructions right here. Um, this is the Chuck Berry Influence Digital Poster. You're going to be creating a digital poster using Google Draw, um, something like that. And I'll show you how to use Google Draw in just a second. Let's go to Drive just to get that set up. All right, so step one, you're going to read through the packet of source materials and watch as directed. So let's go back to that. So here's the packet that I got four. And you're going to pick, you don't have to do all four, pick the one that you think's most interesting one. When we do this in class, we break into groups. We can't do that. So um, you're going to be doing this individually, so don't let group confuse you. Uh, these are the documents, right? So if you want to look at Chuck Berry as a guitar playing solo, go from here. We've got lyrics that break it down and kind of discussion questions to get you thinking. You do not have to answer those. These are just resources to influence and uh, get you thinking about these. So if we got guitar playing. We've got songwriting. And here's some excerpts of some of his lyrics. We've got, I think, country music influence, which is one that I find really interesting because it compared to Elvis, Elvis brought R&B into country. While Chuck Berry brings country into R&B, it is a really interesting comparison there. And then finally, we have his performance style with some videos. So some of these have you to watch videos. They are in the lecture, but you can also look them up on YouTube. So Pick your, pick your packet. Pick your poison. Next, you're going to write a paragraph of four to six sentences highlighting the importance of the specific contributions made by Chuck Berry that you have examined. This is your own words. Next, have two visuals to then go into that. It could be pictures of Chuck. Other, it could be from the actual documents. It could be something that you looked up on Google. Then, find a Chuck Berry song that illustrates that contribution. There are a lot of them in the packets. Then you're going to write one or two sentences explaining why you chose that song. That's all you, the content you need. A title, a paragraph, visuals, name and explanation, and then anything else that will help you contribute to making this look good. You're going to then create the digital poster. Let me show you how to use Google Draw. So here's my Google. And if I go to New and More, I can then go to this thing called Google Drawing. A Google Drawing is a really user-friendly Photoshop. You can edit and add things and make, and I'm going to make just a really quick Google Draw um, just to show you how to use this really cool program. I've been using it for years to make posters at school for the um, student government and things like that. So let's just title this just an example. I, I want to start with the, oh, the picture. I can just go to Insert, Image. And let's just search from the web. Let's make, let's just do a Chuck Berry one since that's what we're looking at. So I, over here pops over to the side. Uh, I'm just going to search Chuck Berry. Let's just see what it gets. All right, that's fine. I'm going to throw Chuck Berry right in the middle. Boom. So here we have Chuck. Um, I am going to crop it because I want him to look like he's exploding. So let's see. Here's a cropping. Let's make it into a really cool shape. And let's make it look like Chuck Berry's exploding. Oh, well, that's a thought bubble. I don't like that one. Uh, yeah, here we go. Boom. Make it really big. Yeah, that looks that looks stupid too, actually. So let's let's come back to crop it. That doesn't look cool at all, does it? All right, let's make it. Let's make Chuck a little smaller. All right, there you go. Well, you know, it is what it is. I I, I didn't use the right cropping tool. All right, so I got a little Chuck Berry. Okay, let's add um, uh, let's add a text box. Boom! Just click that little thing right there. I'm gonna make a big text box and say, "Here is Chuck Berry." I like certain fonts, so let me take a look at the fonts I want to use. Here we go. I like to use Rye. It looks like a, a circus. I'm going to make this really big. 
Boom, here's Chuck Berry. All right, so real quick, I was just saying, what, what, what you saw, like three minutes without me messing around with the, the cutouts, I've got myself the start of a poster. All right, you can use all of these tools to, to start creating and adding pictures left and right. I can just like go overboard with pictures. I can add a picture there. I can add a picture here and then start editing my pictures, okay? And then start adding text on top of that. So that is how you use Google Draw. And, and this is just one program you can use to complete today's um, Chuck Berry Influence poster. Uh, it really helps if you watch today's lecture. There's also an assignment with that one. Um, but this has got to be due by Friday uh, at 1230. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I, I might, I, I'm having a really busy week outside of school. My wife's having a baby, so... Um, that means I'm really busy. So maybe you'll see the baby sometime this week. I'll put it up in a little video. Uh, or maybe not. Hope you have a great day. Just email me if you have any questions. I'll try to get back to you. Pretty simple assignment. I'm really, really excited to see what you can create out of this. Uh, have a great day, everybody.